can we just start with a thought on, on getting this signed and not having to go out to arbitration, uh, to an arbitration area? Uh, yeah, I think the goal was obviously to come back to Edmonton and, um, you know, I don't think any player really wants to go through arbitration. I think it's fun for, you know, the player or the team. So, um, you know, happy to get it done before, before that. And, uh, looking forward to the season now. Uh, how stressful was this for you for the last little while? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I don't think it's ever really that fun, you know, uh, during a contract negotiation, but, um, you know, happy with the result and, uh, yeah. And just give me a thought about the upcoming season. I guess, what are you looking forward to? It looks like basically the gang's back together next season. Uh, and I know you guys fell a little short. Just give me a thought about the upcoming year. Um, I think everyone's super excited. Uh, I think we're all going to head back pretty early and, and kind of get things rolling. Um, the group is super motivated, obviously not the way we wanted to end the season last year. Um, but I think, you know, the group we have for this year, it's, it's most of the same guys, you know, a few additions. So we're, uh, we're super excited to uh, get the ball rolling and, and hopefully make a, you know, big, uh, big step this year. Thanks, Ryan. Rob Kuchkowski, go ahead. Uh, hey, Ryan, there, there seemed to, to be an opinion that if you had gone to arbitration, you might have been able to come away with a, a little bit more, maybe a lot more. Why did you not uh, want to go down that route? Um, I think, you know, as, as the days, you know, you kind of new guys sign new deals, it's, uh, you know, the value of your, of your changes. And, um, you know, I think going in, we thought that was a, a pretty uh, fair value. And, um, you know, I think it worked best for, uh, for me and the team. And I think both parties are happy. So I think it uh, just works better not having to go through arbitration. And, you know, we're happy with the deal. You've sort of elevated your game to a, a position where you've, you know, you've got yourself a nice raise. You've you've carved yourself out a solid niche on the team. Can you maybe your thoughts on the steps you've taken as a player and and maybe what you want to accomplish next? Season? Uh, yeah, I think mostly just sticking with my roots of you know being hard hard defensively and, and uh, trying to be more of an energy guy. But um, you know, I think if I could keep chipping in on the offense and, and pick up that uh, that area, it uh, obviously helped the team and, and helped my game too. So just looking forward to do that and. Uh, yeah, just uh, hopefully you're helping the team any way we can. Uh, if if I can get one more, just yep. there the the salary cap is always uh, or not always, but recently has been a big issue in Edmonton, and guys are going to have to maybe take a little bit less for the greater good of the team. Is that something that that's in the back of your head that you know there's something that you're building here and that you want to keep it together and that you're maybe on the threshold of something, and that's why maybe you know guys aren't pushing as quite as hard as they might want to do in, in other situations? Uh, for sure. I think, uh, you know, coming back to this group, you, uh, you know, there's not a lot of money, but I think on most of the teams that are, that are, you know, hopefully looking to make a deep push in the playoffs, there's, a, there's not a lot of money on a lot of those teams. So um, I think you kind of got to sacrifice a bit for, for the group. And you know, if you could sacrifice a bit and, and we win a cup, I think it all, uh, it all you know, plays out. So um, just looking to kind of have a huge year for, or this team's looking to have a huge year, and I think, uh, you know, winning winning gets everyone paid and gets everyone uh, makes everyone happier. So just looking to do that. Thank you, Paige Martin. Go ahead. Hey Ryan, uh, can you kind of just speak to now that you've had some time to reflect on the season um, and speak to essentially kind of what you've learned about yourself through last season, and then obviously uh, your, your teammates as well. Um, yeah, I think it was, uh, you know, a lot of ups and downs to this group. I think the thing we got to work on as a group is being more consistent and, and, uh, bringing it every night. Um, you know, I think when our team is playing at our best, you know, no one really could, uh, can hang with us. So that's a good sign, but I think the consistency needs to, to be there. Um, and then going to next season, I think, you know, we're a really motivated group. I think no one's really too happy after last season or, or, you know, winning one round. So. I think we have a lot to prove, and, and uh, we're a hungry group coming in. Thanks, Ryan. Can you maybe just speak to um, essentially? You kind of talk about you know being able to head in head in early in the next coming coming weeks with all the guys. Um, essentially, the mindset that uh, you're entering, and you know, you look around the room, and everyone kind of experienced all the same thing, had the same feelings, and w what that's going to be like to start the season that way. Uh, yeah, I think cutting in just kind of getting yourself prepared to, you know, for the first game of the year to be able to put your best foot forward. And, um, 
know, I think being able to go there a little bit early and hopefully skate with a bunch of the guys is going to be able to, you know, create some chemistry and, and uh, you know, it's going to up the, uh, the intensity of everything, everyone. So just uh, being able to do that, I think it's huge. And, and hopefully it, uh, it shows by uh, the time the season starts.